Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Conan Exiles. I'm the Radio Man 03. It's awesome to have you along. I am working on uh, getting some of our benches remade so we can move them to the house. Because like I said, I don't know if I want to keep this place right here. I think I want to put everything up in the house. So I'm working right now on gathering what I need for the armorer's bench here. I've got stone in my inventory and the carpenter's bench. And then we're going to need one of these guys upstairs there, which I've actually got the material I need right now for this, the shaped wood. And we're going to want a fluid press in the kitchen. Oh, look at that. I think that's the same cost. Look at that, 40 Yeah. Same cost for both of those guys. We have the fireball cauldron in the kitchen already, and I'm going to need one of these guys too. Uh, do I have... Well, I'll have branches as I go along. So I'm going to take you with me for a little bit. We're kind of flying solo on this episode. And uh, it's a Saturday evening, so I'm going to record a little Conan Exiles because I've not had much chance to play during the week because I've been so tied up with Imperion Galactic Survival and uh, enjoying that very much. Uh, but I want to get uh, some of this going too, get an episode out for you guys. And then we'll do a little something with everybody. We'll go off on some kind of adventure. We always do. Everybody's like, let's go do some adventure. It's like, okay, I'll go adventure. So we're going to do some of that too. But uh, this episode, let's get the house kind of organized a little bit. And I need iron going, too. Yeah, so if you don't mind, we're going to do some chores together and get some things organized. And we'll put some pretty things up in the house as well. Chesh would like to have a nice home, of course. So, oh, I'm over-encumbered. Say it isn't so. Uh, let's see, you? Oh, I, I need the twine for that. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And I don't have the shaped wood on me. A bonfire. You know, there's something we've never made as a bonfire. This guy here, oh, the iron bars and the brick. Okay, so yeah, we've definitely got to get some iron going so we can get... I want to get a couple blacksmith bench going. I want two up at the house. Those side rooms are going to be kind of workstations. And of course, we got our bedroom upstairs, so that's what I want to do there. Uh, so I'm over-encumbered, and what I really need right now is twine. Uh, I can craft that. Maybe that'll reduce my encumbrance. It's not going to do much, I don't think. Yeah, it's probably going to be down to about 103, if anything at all. Now, you know what I need to do? I need to figure out where I'm going to put my furnaces up there. We have to have a good place for the furnaces. Maybe we've got enough area outside that we could build kind of just an open area that the furnaces could sit on. Because I don't think I want them in the house. I think it would be pretty hot. Uh, let's see if we've got anything to, to, to learn here. Spent knowledge, level four. Available, 59 points available. Oh, no kidding. Oh, sweet. There's a fireplace, right? Isn't there a fireplace we could put together possibly to have here? Mm -hmm. What's this here? Journeyman Tinker. Uh, we probably should learn that. Yeah, we should probably learn that. Highlands Taxidermist. Uh, let's grab that one too. Because we have been going... Uh, we went up into the north in the last episode. That was a ton of fun too, by the way. I really enjoyed going up there. We saw some interesting creatures up there for sure. These things like the candles and stuff, I don't think I'm going to learn it because I, se I seem to find them on a regular basis, so why even learn it, right? I mean, it's just, it's there. There's a wooden shelf. We could do that. Uh, ooh, the apiarist. Sure. Sure. Let's do that. Let's do that. I've never had that one before. What's this? The farmer, the plant, a planter for growing plants, handcrafted. Okay, so I don't want to do, oh, there's the fireplace. Okay, let's do the fireplace. Uh, Highlands Hunter. Let's do that. Since we're doing some deco stuff and we got this beautiful house we built that we're going to put stuff in, let's do that stuff. Let's get some of that stuff going and have some fun with it. A siege cauldron. That is something that would be a lot of fun, I think, as well. Yeah, siege cauldron. That's what's nice about being new to a game is you get to experience all these new things that are really fun. Dafari wind chimes. Sure. <laughs> Get it in here. Get it in here. I want you. I gotta have you. Uh, we do need to tinker. Ooh, do I have to learn that one? I guess I should probably learn all of those, right? I'm kind of surprised I could learn the last one. I did learn the last one, right? Or did it tell me I needed the other? No, I learned it. Okay. I learned it. I learned it. Oh, so many wonderful things. Okay, it looks like we're kind of down to where we can learn stuff so far. I've still got some points to spend, so that's pretty cool. Attributes, I have one unspent point. I've been putting, really been good about putting these things in, and I've not drank a Lotus Potion and unlearned everything to relearn everything. I kind of experimenting to see what I can get to, and Vitality has been a huge help. Uh, encumbrance, encumbrance, I need to work on that a little bit more, and you can see the agility and strength. I'm kind of keeping those 
even Steven all the way through. And then I've even put a little bit in accuracy too, just so my bow shots, I think, do a little bit more. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, so I got that. I'm still encumbered, though. Yeah, I'm still encumbered. Okay. I know, I know, I know. Is there anything I can drop? Right, what about this eight wood? That's not going to get me down. A matter of fact, that actually added something to me. <laughs> maybe, maybe a little bit heavier. It's a sunny, shine. It's, a, it's a, it's a sunshiny day today. There's always that. That's a good thing. That's okay. We can, we can, we can be encumbered for a little bit. Ah, oh, stamina. Dang it. And then, like I said, I think I want to get rid of all this stuff that we've got here right now and kind of rework the entrance and, and all these things. Just make the place look a little bit different. Let's eat a piece of meat and a little bit more water. I would like to get a spot, too. We made that uh, that one fountain that I would like to get going, too. Um, the fountain. The fountain for the Mitra Shrine. If we put that up, you guys say I can use that to drink out of, so that's a good thing right there. All right, so if we come in here, I should have plenty of twine. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm overweight. We could craft that guy right now. Uh, we should be able to craft... What's the beehive require? Okay, so we need some shaped wood. We have that. We have all of this stuff. So we're, we're in good position. We can make quite a few good things today. Uh, the shaped wood is going to be... Uh, one of the things that we're going to... I'm not encumbered anymore. Nope. Let's take that twine with us. We've got... Uh, We've got the shaped wood up here at the house. I know I've got some here, so we're good to go there. The place is looking pretty busy and, and, and pretty awesome. We, see, we crossed that line. Now we're in the jungle, so yeah, we get, the, we get the rain all the time. Let's go in here. You guys remember last episode we were putting some, tor uh, some uh, braziers up in here? Instead of putting them along the wall, what I did was I moved them to the center of the room, and I'm not so sure. We're going to see when the sun goes down if that's going to be a good thing or a bad thing. We can get this guy put in right now. I figure if I put these all along this wall here, it should make for a pretty neat spot. Uh, I don't want it right up against that bench, but I do want it lined up similar to it. So I think if I go like this right here, I'm looking pretty good. And if we just slide over, we'll leave a little bit of a gap in between them. And we will pop that guy down right there. And it looks beautiful. Yeah, a little bit of little space behind the wall. You know, just in case anything ever comes up on the other side of the wall and starts banging on it. Hopefully it won't cause any problems. Number four, our grinder. We're going to put this guy down in the kitchen. I just feel like this is a, a kitchen-type utensil, and we'll throw him right next to this guy right here. Yeah, we're going to throw him right here. And we'll turn him just a little bit more that way and pop that in there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Brian and I took a little hike today and had a good time doing that. My feet are killing me. I don't know what it is about these boots I bought, but oh my god, they hurt so much. Carpenter's bench, 400 wood. I don't have the wood I need for that, and I don't have the stone I need for that either. But, 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 we needed some shaped wood. I'm pretty sure I've got some in here. Oh yeah, sure do. All right, inventory again. Inventory. And we were going to make a dry rack. What's the fireplace take? Oh, oh, it takes the hardened brick. Ooh. Okay, I've never made hardened brick yet. And we needed this guy right here too. We're gonna craft one of those. A juicer. And uh, this guy right here. Okay, so this is the next guy we need. We also need the blacksmith bench, so we need the iron. We're gonna have to get the iron next. That's going to be key for us. So, number four. I think I'm gonna put him in here. But we're going to go ahead and move it around on the, put it in the corner here uh, when you first kind of come in. I think that's a good spot for it right here. It's going to be a nice little workstation area for us right here. Boom. There we go. Beautiful. I only need one, right? I only need one. Uh, I mean, I can understand if we were a bunch of people living in this house, you'd want multiples going, but I think one is good. The juicer, we'll put right back here, right next to the stairs. I think that's a good spot for it been thinking that this would be the spot for it. I bet if I move it out from the wall and do it, should I ink? Should I turn it this way? No, let's do it this way. I was just thinking to get around it, you wouldn't really be able to get around it, but I think we're okay there like that. There we go. Beautiful. Look at this. It's coming together. Uh, do we have light down here? We have just the torch. Just the one torch. Okay, and she's she's hard at thinking as to what we need to do. Let's go ahead and drop this stuff off in here. Like so. We're going to need a little bit more wood, and we need to get some iron going as well. So let's uh, let's go see a guy about some iron. 
We'll get our water skin filled up when we go down below and all that good stuff. Zoop. Uh, looks like they fixed their update. I didn't look at the update, the patches and stuff, but wow, that last update they did really screwed us up. I know our server was crashing constantly, so it was pretty bad. And apparently it was linked to the patch that came out. Even our server company said that nah, it's... They've been getting reports about it, so... But, uh, you know, they fixed it. So far, so good anyways. Let's put it that way. And there's our, our, our plethora of iron over here that we've just been utilizing like crazy. Made it through our first purge. What's our purge looking like now? Oh yeah, see, it's going to be a little while before the purge comes up again. So I'll probably try to get some more single player episodes out for you guys. Today we're just kind of getting back into it a little bit and having some fun and hanging out with each other. Let's get some irons. You know what I've noticed is that if your tools wear down, you don't seem to get as much of the good stuff out of out of this. I'll get like more stone than iron. Uh, I don't know if that's a, if that's an actual thing or not, but it seems like it is. Like if this pick gets down below half, I don't uh, I, I start getting less of things, and it's not as good. Like right now, I, I'm getting so much stone. Why? I got like 21 iron out of that node. There's a bunch of stone coming in there. That's that's garbage. And this iron node, I notice if I'm standing too far into it, it'll take this one and this one at the same time. That's not good. I'm gonna drop some of this stone. Unless I've got enough stone to make a forge. Let's see. Uh, boom. 540 stone. Okay. Uh, you know what? I bet I can top off my stone. Uh, I'll get a few more here. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's grab this iron. I know, I know. I'm over encumbered. I know, I know. I can't. You can't even swing your pick. Makes sense. Oh boy. Okay, so. Uh, 117. I'm going to drop the crystal. Don't need that. I'm going to drop that stone. And I'm going to take this and split it. And we'll drop half of that too. I just don't want to be dragged down all the way back to the house. 108. Oh my god. 105. Okay, let's split this as well. And I guess what I'm going to have to do is just hopefully get back out here quickly to get this stone back. And we'll use it. I don't think we're going to make it back out here in time, but we'll give it a try. <sighs> so yeah, I've got these boots. We go on this hike, and after walking for a mile, my feet are like on fire. Uh, I have like no arch in my left foot. And I've got a bunch of arch, in, well, some arch in my right foot. But it just, oh my god, the amount of pain was unbelievable. I could not believe it. I couldn't finish the hike with variety. I had to say, nope, I'm done. Uh, okay, so that answers that. It disappears pretty darn quick, unless I was over here where I dropped it. Oh, there we go. Oh, sweet. Take it all. Ha! Huh, nice! Okay, that worked out in the end, huh? We got it all back? Beautiful. We got 361 on us, 379. There's 418. And a little bit more, please. Thank you very much. There we go, and a little bit more, and we should be, uh, I think we're at, at forge stage right now. We should be able to make a forge, there it is, 540 stone, alright, that's going to use that up, that's going to free up our inventory a little bit. We'll make, uh, we'll make two. I don't know, you think it's okay to put forges in the house? <laughs> It seems like it could be pretty hot. No, that's not that's not our stone to break. Chesh, not not that one. Not that one. Okay, should be one more of these and we should have what we need. Nice. There we go. Alright, beautiful. So let's get one more of those going. And should we make another one? Should we have three? We've got three now and three no. One, two. How many do I have on me? I'm encumbered. No, I'm not. Come on. We'll get one more stone here, and then we're going to head back. One more stone. Just so we got a little extra on our inventory here. There we go. Beautiful. Worked out perfect. Oh, what do you got on you? You got any bark? There it is. Three bark. Ooh, three bark? Are you kidding me? So generous is the game with the three bark. 
Uh, we're running low on the meat front too. I'm not really taking advantage of that cook like I should be and getting, you know, some decent foods made. Uh, we'll have to work on something like that too. Variety and Gypsy are in here. Pert might be in here too, I'm not sure. I'll have to check the, uh... Boy, it just mirrors my stamina just going down like crazy today. I think it's just, uh, this armor takes up a little bit of extra weight, you know? It's okay. No worries. No worries at all. And, yeah, see that furnace is off. This guy right here turns off all the time. I've always got to come back and tell it to turn on. Sometimes when I use E to back out, it'll shut it off. But for the most part, it, it does turn itself off on a regular basis. Oh, I've got stone. Let's drop this stone off real quick. We don't need all of this on us. Uh, I've got six iron on me. Did you guys know? I think you did. You probably do know this. I, I, well, I'm going to turn these into glass. We've got 16 glass going in here. The crystal turns into glass. You can also put it in your uh, grinder and turn it into salt, which I did not know that. I do now, which is fantastic. Uh, and we're going to do these guys right here. And then I've got three puny little bark. And then we'll just throw those in there and we'll get that going as well. And thinking here I could take with me up to the house. I uh, made some more arrows. You could see that, obviously, to yourselves there. Um, and then there was the, the cost of... Let's grab this and this, and let's go ahead and uh, get rid of that right there. Uh, anything else I'm going to make? I've got, I've got the forges on me. What kind of other decorative things do we want? What do we have in our box of fun stuff that we've found that can I make into something. We have this Dafari banner. That could be kind of fun to put up from some of our exploits. We have a candle. There's a, there's a few more candles. That's fire water, so that's not an, actually a candle or anything we can decorate with. There's some bowls. Uh, there's that. Uh, there's some more bowls. There's an iron jug. Uh, oh, you know what? We can, we can make tables now, right? I think we can make tables. I can make chairs, too. Oh, black rhino head, which we did not get. I was really disappointed about that. I was really bummed. Okay, that's going to take bones. Okay. I know I can get bones by putting uh, animal heads in the juicer. <laughs> it crushes them down into uh, uh, bones and blood. Blood and bones. Oh, we could go get these guys, the jungle birds. Oh, maybe that's what we're going to get our meat. Since we need some meat, we'll run next door here and see if we can get some of that. This is a low wooden table. Uh, so this is going to take shaped wood. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, shaped wood. Uh, round stool. What's the shelf take? Shaped wood as well. Okay, there's a square stool. Recipe table. A recipe table? Say what? Okay, so we need some we need some shaped wood going on over here, uh, and we we don't have any shaped wood there. We do in here though, I think I think we do, I do. Let's take a hundred of these and dedicate them to making some of this really cool stuff, and we'll try it out here real fast. Okay, so we were looking at the shelf. Let's craft. Oh, you get. Let's craft a couple of those just for the heck of it and see what they look like. Let's get this guy up. Let's get this guy too. Rectangle, rectangle variation as well. Oh, I like that one kind of better than that other table. We'll grab that there. We gotta try them out, right? We gotta figure out what it is. Triple slot weapon display. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Why not? Give it to me. There's a wall sign. Uh, we need we need some branches for that. A wooden bench. We could use a couple wooden benches to put next to the table. A uh, wooden chair. Uh, what's this here? A woven stool. Let's try a chair. Let's try one of these here too. I know, just trying it out. I mean, you don't know what it looks like until you try it, right? I mean, give me, am I right or am I right? I, I, I'm right. I know I'm right. Let's do that right there. All right, sweet. We got some stuff to put up. All right, let's do it. 
Let's go see what we got going on. The sun's going down, so well, the sun is down. We'll go into the house and we'll do some decorating in that room, and we'll see what we come up with. Should be cool. Do 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 do. There we go. Uh, f yeah. Let's go in here. We're gonna go in here. Maybe I do have room in here for the forges. Maybe I could do like two forges. They're kind of blocking the windows a little bit, but there would be some ventilation back there, right? Uh, what do you guys think? Yeah, let's do that there, right there. When they're on, they should send off a little bit of a glow out into the great outdoors there for us. Let's back that into the corner, come back out a little bit. A little to the right, and let's shake that guy down there. Okay, that looks nice. I like that. How do we do? We're not going through the wall. There's space behind it. And a little space behind it. Nice. Okay. Inventory. Uh, let's see. Can I put candles on the workbenches? If I could do that, that would be really cool. Um, I can do this. Okay. I think I can. Not a line left with the ground. It really doesn't put off any light at all. <laughs> None whatsoever. Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to light this place up. We need to get more lights. Let's let's do it. Uh, because I'm actually running to it here. There's no door. Get get out of the way. You're making me look like a fool. All right, Chesh. Let's go get some lights. Let's make up. Uh, I replaced the braziers out front of the. Uh, are they there? In front of the Mitra Shrine, yeah. See that the sh that it's still it's back. Okay, so I put those back, and they're they're working. So that's a good thing. Uh, do we have enough iron in here to do lighting? We we can get a couple of lights, but let's let's get some iron. We'll spend some of what we picked up on getting some lights made for that front room, right? I mean that just that makes total sense to me. Let's do that right there, and let's get uh, some more of those hanging braziers. Um, yeah. Let's do... I can craft seven of them. I'm going to do five. We're going to do five of those. That should be, hopefully, enough to light up the room. And then we'll see how the light looks in there. And if we need more, we can always make more, right? We can always do that. Come on. You can do it. Got some fresh coffee in my cup. Mm. Hope you guys don't mind just hanging out with me for about 30, 40 minutes on this. We'll do some tinkering around the base here and get a feel for what we want to do. Okay, lights. And it's, you know, it's always best to hang lights at night. It always is. So part of the darkness, but this is really going to be a, a big help for us to hang the lights at night. I mean, look at the Mitra Shrine. It really looks good. I, I hope he's happy with that. <laughs> You don't want to make Mitra mad. Four. Uh, we need one right out here. Oh my god. Look what that does for the front of the house. I mean, come on. Tell me that's not awesome looking. Yeah. I tell you. Once they get all the bugs and stuff worked out of this game, I think it's going to look... It's going to be fantastic. I also thought about putting the hanging braziers off these posts at the top. That might not be a bad idea. We should use... We could use a light right up here by the door when we first walk in. I'm going to turn it so the hook is more visible to us. There we go. There's one there. Nice. And we should have one in the corner of the room here. Bingo. And we should have one in this corner of the room. And we've got one more. Uh, again, this corner of the room. There we go. And then we need one up over there. So this lights it up a little bit better. Uh, I wonder if we should have some kind of a big fire feature in the middle of the room here. Let me know what you think about that. I won't do anything like that, but let me know what you think of that idea. Let's put the table here. Let's get this other... This is a recipe table, it said, right? That was a recipe table. We're going to put that one in the kitchen. And rectangle variation. Let's go ahead and put this one down in the kitchen since it's the recipe table. Oh, number six. And we'll see what we can do with this guy right here. Uh, I think, wow, right here would be a beautiful spot for it. Uh, a little bit closer to her, though. Our, our wonderful chef, who's going to cook us wonderful things. And... 
Can I interact with this table? Hmm. Uh, inventory. Let's do some dish stacking on here. Like this is where we store our dishes. There's six. There's four. Some cooking dishes for her to uh, cook with here. I th oh, number six. I see. I've got a bunch of those those plates. And uh, number four. Got a metal bowl. Number five. Number six. We got one more of those as well. There we go. A little table with dishes on it for cooking and things like that, mixing and and whatnot. That's that's good stuff. Oh, did I just say whatnot? Oh my god. All right, it's been done. It's been said. Okay, so we've got this guy. We've got these benches, and we have two tables we want to check out and to see how they look. Let's try number three first. It's not a very big table. Not as big as I thought it was going to be. Hmm. I kind of thought that in the middle of the room here we'd have sort of a seating area to eat at. Let's put this guy right here. Let's get number six out. Uh, is he bigger or just about the same size? It's not a very impressive table, is it? It's really not. Uh, let's put this one in the workroom. Uh, if I need to set something down real quick, I can do that. We'll set it right over here by this uh, this forge. There we go, like that. And let's go number five. I think what we need to do is, wow, is there like a really big table as well to go with this stuff? I feel like there should be... Oh, I guess it's almost as... It's, it's much longer than this table is. Maybe there's a longer table that I just don't know about. For a woven seat. There we go. We'll put that over there. Inventory. Here's a, here's a chair. Wood chair. What does this guy look like? Wow, they sit really low to the floor, don't they? I think I need one more table here for sure. We'll just put put that chair right there and get it out of the inventory. <coughs> and we've got some shelves. Okay, shelves. Shelves, shelves, shelves. Everybody loves shelves. I feel like we could put something right here underneath the rhino. He's by the way, he's staying there. I I just I absolutely love him to death. I love that guy to death. He's amazing. Uh, and we'll do a shelf right over here too. Okay, look at that. We're getting some stuff. And then we've got this this guy right here. And we've got this, and we have this. I feel like we could put this right over here. So if I take number two, can I put this in there? Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. I've got that in my inventory. Not a good rack for the spear, but for the smaller weapons, yes, it would be very good. All right, sweet. That works for me there. Uh, number four. There we are. We'll jug to drink out of. And number five. kind of hard to tell what it what it's actually doing because I can't see it. Is there anything on the other side of this thing? What if I put it right there? There we go. I killed a guy for that just for you, Mitra. Just for you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we've done that. We've looked at the tables and stuff. I wonder if there's a bigger table, though, that we could use. It seems to me like there should be like a, a big grand table that we could use to do this. Uh, let's go ahead and type in table. Search. Uh, here we go. 
Oh, here we go. Recipe long table. Okay, that's what we need right there. This guy. Comfortable chair. Okay, let's make one, two, three, four, five, six of the comfortable chairs. And we need 80 wood for that guy right there. Uh, I've got 58 in here. Do I have any wood in there? I don't. Let's grab a little bit of wood and we'll try that out. How's the iron coming along? Okay, there we go. Beautiful. And boom, 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 like so. And there we go. And uh, we might as well cook this down into brick. Why not? And we're going to throw all the iron in here. You can see I've run, let the iron run way low. Way, 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 way low. Uh, but we're not going to use it for any of that stuff here. What are we going to make with that? We were going to make uh, the carpenter's bench, right? Yeah, the carpenter. No, no. Ah, here it is. The blacksmith bench. Okay, we need brick and iron for that. And the carpenter's bench, we needed 400 wood and 150 stone. So let's turn this off because we've got the stone in here. Matter of fact, we have just enough stone in there. Let's get this stuff put away real fast. Uh, brick. There we go. And uh, where can I put this blood? really don't need blood and seed on me right now. There's another, there's a Darfari banner as well. Forgot about that one. Okay, so we'll make sure we have that one with us too. Uh, and we've got some candles and I don't think, I don't know if I like the black candles as much. I think maybe the white ones are better. Let's get that wood together though that we need for uh, crafting a few things. And of course you gotta splash rugs around and stuff like that. Put a few more things on the wall and pretty soon you got yourself a, a beautiful home. Uh, these trees are back already, which is fantastic. There we go. These are five bangers. And this is a five banger. And this is a six. Beautiful. And let's fill up our water. Do I have what I need? One, two, three. That's 300. No, I need some more wood than that. I need more wood than that. Let's go get this other tree over here real quick. Uh, and adventure-wise, I don't know what we're going to do. We've not talked. Uh, we literally just got on. We've been having a lot of issues with our uh, internet connection in the last week. And it come to find out that they actually increased the speed of our internet in our neighborhood. And their advice to us is for us to bring our modems in and swap them out. We don't have our own gaming modems that we purchased. We kind of rent them from our cable company. And the ones we have, we've had for quite a bit of time now. So they're like, yeah, you should bring those in and get new ones because now we're... We've, we've got what you need. Uh, let's let's craft that. Let's craft that apiary. We could do that. And I need the stone. 150 stone. Oh my god, look at that. I'm missing a stone for that. Uh, we can do that. Oh, I bet I can pick up a stone right over here. That should reduce my uh, encumbrance too. No, I didn't want the branch. There we go. And we're going to do this uh, carpenter's bench next. Beautiful. Hopefully that drops my encumbrance down. And then the other one we're looking for is the... What was this again? Fireplace? was Okay, the really super hardened brick, right. Uh, we needed the blacksmith bench. Okay, that got rid of my encumbrance. So this we can take care of up at the house. Okay, perfect, perfect. We're looking good. Looking good here. Apiary, I guess I'll put that out front somewhere, not right up against the house, because you wouldn't want bees buzzing around your house. Now, I understand the apiary kind of worked like the, possibly like the, the, the fish traps, where if you log out of the server and turn the server off, it kind of erases them, and they, they're bugged, and they don't work. I don't know if the, uh, the fish traps work yet or not. Let me know in the comments if they do, if they fix that. Bingo. Uh, hold on. Let's, let's at least make a carpenter bench. Oh, I don't have the stone on me for that. It was brick, wasn't it? It was brick that I needed, not stone. Okay, so we can throw that in there. We can grab 200 of these because we're going to... I'm, I'm over encumbered. Yes, of course I am. And we're going to roll up. And we're going to roll. 
And we're gonna roll. And I should have the what we need in here. I think it was was it a fifty brick, I think, for those? Let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, I think I've got what is this? The Catan Artisan Table. What does that take? Forty wood. Let's craft that. We'll have that set up too, and then we could kind of tinker around with some of that. I think that might be kind of fun to look at some of the different uh, stuff they have. And uh, yes, we want two of those. That's going to use up all of my... That's a nice looking table. That's going to use up all of our iron. After we make one here, we should have enough uh, weight taken away from us. There we go. Now we can run. Alright, let's take this stuff up to the house. Let's get these things set up. Number four is our apiary. I think I'd like to be able to see it as I go by, just so I can look at it and see it. Uh, let's see. Uh, shift and scroll. Nope. Uh, shift. I was in... Doesn't look to me like they fixed this. This is still an issue. Man, that's, that's the biggest... Why can't I put it here? I can. But not in the ground. That's kind of frustrating, huh? I mean, why not? I don't want to get too close to there. Maybe right here in this corner? Can I get it to sit here? There it goes. Okay, so that's supposed to give me honey, if I'm not mistaken. And it's just, yeah, it's just a time thing. So it just has to sit there and make honey. Okay, let's leave that there. We'll see if it does anything. Hopefully it'll create some honey and then I can give it to the cook. And then the cook can use that. Uh, we're going to work on, we're going to focus on the benches and getting our benches set up in here. Uh, we got this guy right here. Fantastic. Uh, which corner do I want it in though? He's going to stand and saw on that log is what he's going to do in between here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this out from the wall a little bit because I can't remember if he stands on the left side of this long beam here or on the right-hand side of it. We're going to bring this down and kind of meet up with the middle of those two beams back there and give him just enough room to kind of be himself there. Okay, so that works out really well there. Number six. Number six is the Catan table. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, that's really nice. I like that one. Yeah, they did a nice job with that one. They did a nice job with all the scenery stuff in here. I think they I think they've got some really amazing artists working for Conan. On Conan. Okay, let's put that back into the wall. We'll move back this way with it a little bit. And slide it down just a hair. We'll put that one right here. What is this? Now let's see what we got in here. Oh. Iron Cauldron. Oh. Oh my. Oh, look at these. 75 stone for a, a dragon idol? Catan drum? Oh, man. Oh, look at this. Look at this brazier. Look at these braziers. Oh, those are awesome looking. Oh, we got to do some mixing and matching on that stuff then. We need some bones as well. So we're going to have to take our cleaver with us. Matter of fact, I should make a steel cleaver. Shield display rack. Uh, this is Some of this is on the regular table, but not all of it is. Uh, 80 wood. And then we needed the shaped wood, too. Where are we going to put the smithies? Uh, let's see here. You know what? We could put... I think we could probably squeeze two of them in right here. go here we go looks 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 good to me huh if I come to the right a little bit okay it does separate it a little bit but we want it to be nice and tight together but not too tight together there we go 
Oh, that looks pretty nice over here in the corner. So we should be able to have two smithies in here because, yeah, those iron reinforcements and the steel reinforcements down the road are going to get difficult to make. So we definitely want to have enough of that stuff going on uh, with those guys over here. And um, I think I could drop some of this wood off in here. Let's do that right there. We'll throw those sticks in there too. Empty out our inventory. Uh, what else do we need? We were looking at those braziers. But there's something else we need to make. Uh, inventory. What was the other thing that we were going to make? For workstations. Uh, we were going to look at the, this guy here too. But yeah, that's right. We can't make him because we don't have that super hard brick. Uh... It looks to me like I can make it. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, we have a big house to decorate. Is there any other workbenches that we need right now? See, I was thinking about putting one of these in the middle of the living room. Kind of the entryway there, but I wish they had kind of a... Like a, a heat... A heat Something like that without the, the cooking part on it would be really kind of cool, I think. What's this here? Reinforced stone. St okay, reinforced stone. Gotcha. Um, a tannery. That's what we don't have. Oh boy, that's going to take a little bit to get that stuff together. I'm going to take a little break, gather a few more things. We'll put them up and we'll see how the house is looking. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Made a few more things to put out. I tried to put the tiny dancer here, and she just... I was going to put her on the center of the table, and she just... She pretty much dances with her chest above the table and her legs below the table, so it doesn't work. So I thought maybe this Catan Dragon would look pretty cool right here. I thought that looks pretty awesome. I uh, added a few more braziers inside here, too. One back in that corner above the staircase going upstairs, and then two above what is a very, very big table. But I like it. I like that table a lot. And this guy here, I almost feel like these... These braziers here are kind of just kind of specialty items. So we'll put this guy right over here to light up our, our rhino head. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of lag in here <laughs> without, you know, I, I kind of figured as much. Uh, that's going to burn the rug, and that's not good there. Um, oh, you know what? Maybe we could put this right over here, kind of a centerpiece inside this window here. The house is looking really nice at night. It really glows as you walk up to it. But, yeah, I am getting some frames in here for sure with all the stuff we've got going on in here. And we're gonna add more. Then again, we will be taking down a lot of the stuff that's over here too, so that's that's okay. Uh, the next thing I wanna do is get one of those bird heads. We know where they are, they're very close by. Uh, I tried these uh, blunt arrow tip arrows and for some reason, I've made some, I've got them. Uh, I could try, I guess, to try them again. I don't know. Um, they didn't seem to work too well for me. Uh, it. it Almost like it didn't register, but this is back when it was acting kind of buggy, too. Uh, so we've got that and that. Uh, what do I want? I also want my good sword. Uh, we can throw the pick and the hatchet up here. The pick and the axe, the bow, we'll keep that on us. Uh, yeah, these guys are supposed to knock them out, right? So last time I tried this, it said I didn't have any ammo in the bow. Uh, so we'll, we'll give this a whirl here and see what happens. But yeah, I would love to get uh, one of those uh, bird heads. I'd like to get all the bird heads, but uh, I know we can get a, at least one. Let's try to get one at least. And we'll grab the feathers off the birds and stuff like that. But we are going to need our feather, or our cleaver. We've still got quite a bit of stuff down here at the old place. There's our cleaver. There's our skinning knives. Uh, these are not the steel ones. Can I make the steel ones yet? I'm kind of curious about that right now. Is that something I can actually make? Uh, we've got the iron right there. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, you guys told me to put this on my truncheon. So I'm making one of those right now to make sure I put that on my truncheon before I head out with everybody and go on an adventure here. Oh, uh, yeah. I wonder, is that something I, I have not learned yet? Uh, let's go to weapons. Half shot, uh, skirmisher. These have started to interest me a little bit. These these knives. Uh, is it under maybe? If I type in search, if I type in steel, I 
Here we go. What's this here? Master Butcher. Level 43. Oh, there, there it comes up. Level 51. Okay, so I'm not at that level yet. Okay, that answers that question right there. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not big enough yet. We could try some of these out on this, this first person that's up the hill here. Oh, by the way, that last update, I, I, I really tried to come in and record an episode, but uh, I couldn't. Both of these villages up here that we raid on a regular basis were empty. Not a soul in sight in either one of them. Uh, so that was really, really strange. Let's get some water while we're right here. There we go. And a little bit of food. There we go right there. Beautiful. Excellent. We're set to go. Now let's go knock this guy out up on this hill here and see if... if are These these must knock them out. Is it, I'm going to say it probably acts kind of like the truncheon. Huh, doesn't seem to do... doesn't seem to be knocking him out. <laughs> so dramatic is he. So dramatic. Uh, yeah, we don't want this. There we go. Alright, so... I, I probably didn't give it a big enough test. I, I think I'm probably... You, you, I probably can knock them out with that. Maybe I have to hit him in the head. But, uh, you know, whatever. It's okay. Uh, speaking of which, let's go to our inventory. Let's go ahead and put regular arrows on. I do enjoy the archery in the game. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's difficult to shoot and move, though. That's not really something you can do. We need to go over this way. I'm going the wrong direction here. Drink a little bit of water there. A little sip of my coffee here as well. Matter of fact, I need to turn my... Turn my game room light, game room light on. I wonder if I get a Komodo dragon head. Oh, should we give that a shot too while we're at it? Let's do it. We'll take on one of these Komodo dragons. It's I've only killed one since we've moved here. I just you know, they're kind of part of the island, right? I would I would I would I would consider them to be a sacred beast around our home, but I would like to display one of their heads in my house. Komodo dragons, where are you? We'll go up here and see if we can find one. Down by the lagoon. Oh, I'm not at the house anymore. Duh. Okay, that's fine. It's okay, we're going over this way. I, I got turned around there for a second. That's okay. Just a little bit of damage. Just a little bit of damage. We do have the uh, boss shell back head. We've got that one. Uh, I th well, well, maybe I'm speaking too soon. We killed the boss shell back. There's one over by our house as we come up into the area, so uh, I think I got a shell back head. Okay, there's there's a pink one right there. Yeah, so you can't walk and shoot at the same time. Stop, 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 so win. Stop swinging your sword. Savory flesh and feathers. Oh, man. Okay, we'll try this again. There's a few of them over here, so we should, we should be able to score one. Come here, come here, big bird. Oh, a little laggy in here, huh? I don't want to. I don't want to ruin it by swinging the big sword through it too. No head. Hmm. That's two. There's another pink one right over here. I'm getting some pretty bad lag too. Ah! <laughs> 
Back it up, back it up. Back it up, back it up. There we go. Oh, you missed, Berg. I just don't want to hit it with a sword and harvest it with the sword is what I'm trying not to do. Uh, I'm going to try this one more time with the cleaver. I'm pretty sure it's the cleaver that gets me the heads. Nothing. I'm gonna have to try. I'm gonna have to try the other, the uh, the skinning tool, skinning knives. Here's another bird, the green one. Come here, buddy. Let's try the skinny knives this time, I guess. Hide and feathers. Dang it. Hmm. Nothing. Kind of a ripoff. I think this is a Komodo dragon over here. We'll try this guy out too and see if we can get uh Come here, buddy. They move just like the crocodiles, huh? Fangs and feral flesh. Well, that kind of struck out there, huh? Let me know if I'm doing something wrong on that. I'm pretty sure it's the cleaver that's supposed to give me the heads. That's what I've done in the past. That's what's given me the best luck, so... I don't know. I guess maybe I, I could be wrong about that, but... I thought I was fairly certain that I was doing the right thing there. We've got some meat though, we got some more feathers. We got some stuff we need for sure, so that's a good thing. Uh yeah, going home. Going home. We'll have to fight this big guy up here at some point in time too, that boss that's up there as well. Looks like a big tree root. There he is. Boy, he's a big guy. He is a big guy. Oh, there's a chest right there on the beach, too. I'm sure once we kill him, we get a key, and then we can open that chest and find something good in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need to get a little bit stronger. We are not strong enough for that yet. No, sir. Uh, how's my... Yeah, I've got quite a bit of stuff in my inventory. I don't think I should be trying to harvest anything else across right here uh, okay bummer I was really kind of hoping well maybe there's one in my inventory I didn't look at my inventory maybe for some reason I just missed it as I was picking it up and maybe it's in here let's check no there's there's no head in there darn it I was really kind of hoping for a trophy I'll keep trying though we'll see if we can come up with something we'll see if we can get it I was really looking forward to that uh, we do have some honey. Let's stop by and grab the honey. The stuff in my inventory we'll take back to the house since we're going to be, you know, setting up shop there full time anyways. And I feel like this is going to be the natural route to the into the house is through here. And let's see here. We've got eight honey. All right. Let's see what she can make with the honey and the raw meat. And we've got feral flesh too, so we should be able to make a few different things. Okay, my dear. There's that, 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 and that. What can you do with those things? Honey bread, honeyed eggs, honey mystery meat soup. Oh, human flesh. Gross. Uh huh. Exotic feast. Oh, I see. Okay, I see how this is working here. Cooked eggs. Of course, you have to have the eggs. Haunch. Spiced steak. We can make some spiced steak. Yellow lotus soup. Uh, shredded roast. 
So I have to cook the roast first. Okay, so I need some... Uh, okay, I've got regular wooden here. So we've got that. So we can cook that stuff up. I've got the spiced steak already in here. But this stuff is hot. So this is really good to take when you're going up north. Oh, there's some more feral flesh too. Okay, we'll just leave that in there and let her cook that up. And then I've got the honey in here too. So she should... We ought to be able to make it. Well, we don't have uh, the honey bread. We need bread. And I don't know that I know how to make bread. Nevertheless, she's our slave. <laughs> she's she's ours. She's ours. Just to cook what we want her to cook. Uh, did a little decorating in the house today. It looks pretty good. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with that. We're gonna throw the feathers in here. Um, yeah, we'll throw the feathers in here. I'm, I feel like I'm missing a bench. Throw those in here. And the fangs we can turn into something else. I'm going to throw the silver in there as well. Uh, the coal we shall throw actually... Well, this is the torturer's work table. As you can see there. Armorer's bench. I, I, maybe we don't need the other artisan's table since we have this one. This one's got everything the other one does and the Catan stuff as well. So I think we're okay with that. Um, yeah. And then over here... We're going to have to get some fuel and everything going in here. Yeah, I've got to rearrange all this stuff and get it all kind of going again. You can hear her dancing around upstairs. We come down here. We can throw these guys in here. I'll craft that into that. Um, it's not cooking any... It's, it's not cooking this. I didn't tell it to cook anything. What am I, I'm doing something stupid here. Why is it not cooking this meat? Because I've not picked a recipe, is that it? So this is def I, I I actually need a fire pit. If all I want to do is cook meat, I've got to have that fire pit. Okay, I see. All right. I can make this chili desert, desert style, and craft one of those. There it goes. Oh, nice. I bet this warms me up. <laughs> oh yeah, warming up, warming up. Temperatures are rising. All right, I think that's going to have to wrap up today's episode. We've still got this entire room over here, which I feel like may not have to be a workstation since we've got this work area going over here, and it's looking pretty good. I put some rugs down, by the way. There's some rugs here. There's one at the front door, and I also have a rug right in here as we go up the stairs. So I thought those were kind of a nice touch, but there's so many more things we can do here. Uh, what is... What did, can we put... Can I put something on the shelf? Can I put like this mug? Can I put this iron jug on? The oh my god. Oh, did I get everything back? Oh, I just lost all of that stuff. Oh, I could have sworn I just was pointed at the iron jug. There it is. Radio moment. It has arrived. Oh no, I lost all that stuff. Jeez. Oh, 75 stone. I'm going to have to get all that back. Dang it. And the jug is gone too. This is a Katang legionary soldier too as well. Takes stone consolidant to make him. Just some really awesome stuff. Anyways, no big deal. I can get some stone back and get an iron jug no big deal hope you enjoyed today's episode if you did do hit that like button for me comment subscribe and share on the radio man 03 have an awesome a fantastic and a superb day and i do look forward to talking to you again next time she looks very comfortable